Hello, my name is Dr. Hart Pinto and today we're going to look at some topics in medical statistics which include sensitivity, specificity and predictive values. So the statistics are used in the evaluation of a proposed screening test. For any screening test, the following results are possible. A patient with disease may have a positive test, known as a true positive. If this patient with disease had a negative test, this would be considered a false negative. When a patient does not have the disease and the test is negative, this is a true negative. And if the patient without disease has a positive test, this will be known as a false positive. This is an important concept to consider and is the basis for how we calculate and understand sensitivity, specificity and predictive values. Okay, first of all, sensitivity tells the reader how often a test will be positive in a patient with the disease. We calculate sensitivity by identifying all true positives and dividing them by the true positives plus the false negatives. Specificity, on the other hand, tells the reader how often the test will be negative in a patient without disease. Specificity is calculated by taking all the true negatives and dividing them by the true negatives plus the false positives. Moving on to predictive values. A positive predictive value informs the reader that where a positive test result is found, how often does the patient actually have the disease? Again, how often when a positive test is identified, how often is that test actually correct? Positive predictive value is calculated by identifying the true positives and dividing them by the true positives plus the false positives. Negative predictive value, on the other hand, informs the reader that where the negative test result is identified, how often does the patient not have the disease? Or to put it another way, how often if the test result is negative, is it actually correct? We calculate negative predictive values by taking the true negatives and dividing them by the true negatives plus the false negatives. Right, so let's consider what we've learned and put it into practice. Let's consider the following example. We wish to evaluate the use of faecal occult blood screening for the early indication of colorectal cancer. This study includes 200 patients whom all have had the faecal occult blood test. When we look into this study, we have true positives, which are 10 patients, the false positives, demonstrating five patients, the false negatives, demonstrating again five patients, and the true negatives, demonstrating 180 patients. So let's first consider the sensitivity. We already know that sensitivity is equal to the true positives divided by the true positives plus false negatives. So we identify a true positive, which is 10 patients, and we put it into our equation. We then go on to identify the false negatives, which is 5 patients. We therefore get an equation of 10 patients divided by 10 plus 5. This, when calculated together, gives us the value of sensitivity. The value is 0 0.667, which in real terms means that when a patient has colorectal cancer, our test has a 66.7% chance of identifying it. Now let's consider the specificity of the test. We know that specificity equals the true negatives divided by the true negatives 
plus the false positives. We identify the true negatives, 180 patients, and put this into our equation. And we identify the false positives and put them into our equation. This gives us 180 divided by 185 patients. We therefore get a calculated specificity value of 0 0.973, which in reality means that in a patient without colorectal cancer, there is a 97.3% chance of being test negative. Moving on now to predictive values. Let's look at positive predictive value. Again, positive predictive value is the true positives divided by the true positives plus the false positives. So in our table, we identify the true positives and the false positives, again putting them into our equation. We therefore get a positive predictive value result, when calculated, of 0 0.667. This means that where the test result is positive, patients have a 66.7% chance of having colorectal cancer. For negative predictive values, we know that it is equal to the true negatives divided by the true negatives plus the false negatives. So we identify the true negatives and false negatives in our table and we put them into our equation. When calculated, the negative predictive value is 0 0.973. This means that when the test is negative, patients have a 97.3% chance of not having colorectal cancer. Okay, now to summarize. Sensitivity tells the reader how often the test will be positive in a patient with disease. Specificity tells the reader how often a test will be negative in a patient without disease. Positive predictive value tells us that where a positive result is seen, how often does the patient have disease? And a negative predictive value tells us that where a negative result is seen, how often does the patient not have disease. Thank you for listening. I hope this assists you with your examinations and your revision. If you have any questions, please leave them in the section below and I will try to respond.